Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. And as some of you have noticed, maybe, in recent years, there has been an influx of squirrel picture books out in the world. One that immediately comes to mind is the book uh, Those Darn Squirrels, where these squirrels are just wreaking havoc on this uh, person's yard. And uh, it's good reason. There's good reason. There's a lot of evidence to back this up. These claims that squirrels can be especially mischievous creatures when it comes to our homes and our yards and our businesses. I've got a story for you out of England where a, uh, a little hardware store, kind of like a, a hardware craft store in, um, in England, uh, was closed on Saturday night and then the owners of the store got wind that their burglar alarm went off. So the alarm was going off. They thought, wow, oh no, there's an intruder in the store. What could be going on? So they called the police. The police rushed to the store, surveyed the scene, and what did they find before their very eyes? One little squirrel. And what do you think that squirrel was doing in this store. So keep in mind, it's like a hardware store. Mm -hmm. Like an outdoor hardware store, things okay. like that. What do you think this squirrel was doing, Coach Jeff? My guess okay, is... I'll tell you. Uh, okay. Wait, you want to guess? What's your guess? Well, I was going to say, I think, you know those like bags of mulch? Yeah. They're kind of like giant beds for squirrels. Oh. So I think he was just looking for a place to take a little nap and was just climbing up, just ripped a little hole in the bag, just snuggled in, and just had a nice little comfy bed. Well, that might have been on his agenda for the night, but I will tell you, when the police walked in, they caught him red-handed stealing nuts and bird food. Oh, uh, yeah, because that makes more sense. He knew exactly where to find it. He knew that this store would have nuts and bird food, so he broke into the store, this little tiny squirrel, the size of my hand breaks into the store and starts having an all-you-can-eat buffet of bird food and nuts. That's more food than that squirrel's going to eat in its entire life. Like it, That's I like finding know. like a giant treasure of food. So the police walk in. They say, squirrel, put up your hands. You're under, the, you're under arrest. And the up. squirrel didn't do it. The squirrel was so quick, so nimble, he ran right out of that store with his cheeks full of nuts, and they never saw him again. I bet he's coming back tonight. Oh, yeah. Always go back to the same place. They, yeah, that's, that's what squirrels do. Squirrel criminals are notorious tonight. for returning to the scene of the crime. I totally agree. They are so bold. When I was in college, I had a squirrel eat a bagel right out of my hand. Really? Yes. When you were in college, were the squirrels real bold? So, our, yeah, mainly because they were just really comfortable on campus. So, like, all the campus yeah. squirrels, like, you could go up and, like, feed them. They were, like, like little pets. But I actually, mm -hmm. I have a good story about yeah. squirrels because growing up, we had this, my, my dad built this really cool bird feeder to put in our backyard. And he had it on a big post, and it was in our backyard because he liked to look at, you know, the birds, and they'd come in in the morning. And we had so many problems with squirrels climbing up the, you know, the big post to get to the bird feeder. And he, my dad, no kidding, spent years trying to figure out a way to stop these, you know, squirrels from getting there, right? People sent yeah. us different types of uh, bird feeders to use. Some that had uh, little, like the things that the birds sit on were so light that only a bird would be able to fit on it. So if the squirrel yeah. could go up and try to hang, he would just fall right off. But the squirrels are so smart that they found a way to literally suspend themselves underneath and eat upside down from the bird feeder. So then we put a little <laughs> roof on the bird feeder, and then they found a way to get past that. The only thing that ever worked was my dad put a metal cylinder around the post that yeah. the, and, and that was kind of slick with the, the paint that was on it. So when they would get up, they would just slide right down the pole like a firefighter. We, we've got something like that, and we found that the birds, we, we don't put bird feeders up in the summer because there's the, the flowers, but uh, in the, the colder months when things aren't blooming, we'll put up these bird feeders, and the birds or the squirrels know how to, they do these, they have an obstacle course. They jump from thing to yes. thing. They totally evade 
the uh, the, the baffle or whatever that would they would normally slide down. It's like American They're, Squirrel Ninja Warrior. Yeah, they really is. They are bold little creator, critters. So there you go. Story about uh, squirrels. Totally. They're going to return. It's, he's going to return to the oh, scene yeah. of the crime. Now that he knows Richard that it's there? Day. What? So now that he knows that it's there? Oh, yeah. That squirrel's coming back. Just wanted to share that story with you. Um, just watch out for those squirrels. They are everywhere. They're, I like them. I like it, though. I think they're fun. I, I kind of, I'm like, if you go through all that trouble to get my bird, the bird seed, you go for it. it. Yeah, you earned it. All right, we'll be right back. It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. Birthday missions are coming up next.